Chances are you've noticed it right now. There are some supply and demand issues, really, no matter where you look. A six on your side reporter, Lexi Spivak, spoke with the owner of one popular restaurant on UT's campus. He says this has left him falling short on supplies and ingredients and unable to serve his customers. Lexi. Bo, a supply chain professor with UT, says he predicts these issues will be mostly resolved by the second quarter of 2022, so that's February. But right now, the owner of Oscar's Italian restaurant over on Cumberland Street, he says he needs to get to the other side of this and fast. A lack of supplies and a hard time finding workers is taking its toll. Where Cumberland meets volunteer, you'll see a familiar face serving Knoxville for 20 years. It's the same face you'll see when you walk into Oscars. There's always a smile, but it's getting harder for Louis Albaba to keep. The problem we have is with, with the because of the pandemic is shortage of employees. He says at the business's peak, there were more than a dozen delivery drivers. Right now, I barely have maybe two or three drivers. I mean, for example, last Saturday, which is what was a game day, and. I canceled all my deliveries because I didn't have any drivers. He says the lack of staff also means he's the one in the kitchen every day. I drop my kids to school about 7.30 in the morning. I drive straight here. I leave about 5, 6 o'clock in the evening. Alibaba is also dealing with those supply issues, just like the rest of us, in the grocery stores and everywhere else you can think of. They don't have one-fourth of the items I needed. The shelves are empty. My supplier, like we get food from... GFS or Roma, you know, PFG, and many times, almost on a weekly basis, they short two or three items because they don't have it. University of Tennessee professor Ted Stank explains the supply is constantly trying to keep up with the ever-changing demand. Demand is fickle and can change on a dime, but the supply chain resources to support that demand take weeks or months to be able to align, to be able to support different kinds of demand. The perfect ingredients for a rough outcome. The restaurants having to be very flexible and agile to look at what products can we get today and which ones are limited. Like at Oscars, where Louis says flexibility has been their mindset all along. All of us just as a teamwork, we can just, we can come over this. Because for a guy like Louis, 20 years just isn't long enough. All right, so if you're looking for work, Oscars is hiring. And as far as those grocery store shelves go, Stank says that you need to be flexible there as well. As for the holiday shoppers, just make sure that you order ahead of time. He says the last time our nation went through something like this was World War II. Back to you. Mm, Lexi, thank you. And you can find more information from the Tennessee Grocers and Convenience Store Association. Just head to our website, wate.com.